All right, guys, here we go. My top 10 fall fragrances list. You guys have been asking, so I'm gonna bring it to you. So here it is. I'm gonna start out with a few honorable mentions. I've got four of them. I'm gonna start off with this one, Armani Stronger With You. Listen, this is a good fragrance. It got a lot of hate when it came out, as do pretty much all new designer fragrances that come out. And honestly, it's not bad stuff. It has this nice roasted chestnut and vanilla smell. And honestly, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Replica by the Fireplace, if you guys are familiar with that fragrance. It's got a chestnut and a vanilla note. This it has a similar vibe to that, but in my opinion, this isn't quite as good. One of the main drawbacks of this one is performance. It doesn't really work that well on me. When I got it last year, when it was cold, I kept testing, I kept trying to get it to work. Just couldn't get it to work on my skin. So performance, definitely a drawback for this one. If you do plan on wearing this one in the fall, I would maybe save it for dates or things like that where you're gonna be closer to your guy or your girl or whoever. That's when I would really use this one for, just because on me, it doesn't have the performance that I would like when it's cooler out. So that is the first honorable mention, Stronger With You. Up next, we have the three other fragrances. I'm just gonna go through them all really quickly. We have Versace Eros, YSL Loam, and Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb. Don't drop it. Why am I bundling all these up here together? Well, if you look at my fall list from last year, these three actually made it up very high in that list. I think all of them were within the top five of it. And this year, they didn't even make the list at all. So it's just crazy how much you know, my tastes have changed, how much my collection has changed. I feel like I've came a long way. And I didn't want to just keep these out all together, right? If they made it up that high on my list last year, I wanted to give them some love. So here they are on the honorable mentions. All three of these are great. Versace Eros. This one I don't wear often, but I do enjoy it. It's this nice clubbing player type of smell. This one is basically the one I wear when I want to come across and smell like a fun guy who doesn't give a fuck right that's just what this does YSL loam this is my apple orchard fragrance just is one of the most pleasant smells there are for men this is just a gentleman's classic I'm probably gonna get another bottle of it soon even though I don't really wear it that much but still a great scent and it's one that I wear just when I want to smell pleasant and of course spice bomb this is another fantastic scent this one is kind of often referred to as the ex-boyfriend scent just because it is popular and that's just what girls say when they think of their douchebag X they associate spice bomb with that so really you know it's whatever I still enjoy the scent this is one that I would still wear in the fall maybe going to bonfires going to haunted houses things like that where I just want to again kind of have this player type of vibe this player smell this is one that I would wear so those are all my honorable mentions let's go and jump into the list number 10 we have Paco Rabanne pure excess this is a newer release and it's not a bad fragrance it's kind of has again like I was talking about earlier this young player type of smell it's a little bit boozy but it's also fresh as well it's kind of hard to describe it's got liquor sugar some other sweet notes and it's again one that got hated on a lot when it came out personally I don't mind it I think it smells nice it's nothing new it's nothing groundbreaking but it's a scent that is very mass pleasing and like I said this is one that I would wear in the fall when I just want to have this fun player type of smell and you know I don't really care about anything else this is one that I reach for and there's actually another scent on this list that is a niche scent that kind of does a similar thing that what I feel like this would do for me which is why this one is lower but nonetheless it is still a great scent and I think it's one that you should check out so number 10 pure excess number nine we have Dolce Gabbana the one EDP this is one this this is always going to be in my collection there's no doubt about it this is one of my favorite fragrances it's such a great smell people do get tired of it it does get redundant you see it on everyone's list it's at number nine mainly because of that reason you know it does start to get a little bit boring after a while but for me this is just such a dumb reach i can just spray this on and wear it and there was a point last year around in the fall and winter where i wore this like almost a week straight you know I just really wasn't feeling inspired I didn't feel like wearing fragrances so pretty much every day in the cooler weather I just you know, picked this up sprayed it on and went on my way and I always got a lot of great compliments I've gotten some of my best compliments with this one especially on dates so number nine uh, really really solid number nine uh, it's just a great scent and it's one that I will always have one of my favorite dumb reaches for the cooler weather and for dates as Dolce Gabbana the One Eau de Parfum. Number eight, we have Creed Royal Oud. So here we go with Royal Oud. This one 
Don't let the name put you off. It's not really an oud scent. There is oud in here, but it's a fresh, light oud. What I mainly get is cedar wood and some spices. Like I said, oud is there. It gives it some depth. It gives it some backbone. But like I said, it's a fresher take on oud. It's nothing stanky or too disgusting smelling. This is still a very mass pleasing scent and it's what you would come to expect from Creed. They're really good at fresh fragrances and even though it's a fragrance like this, Royal Oud, it's still a very wearable scent and it's just a great stuff. Really smells very classy, very upscale and it's just something that when I first sprayed it and I first smelled it, it reminded me of fall. Immediately I'm just like, oh that just smells like fall. That cedar wood is so good, mixed with the spices really makes it pop and it's just a great scent so number eight royal oud definitely a great one for the fall number seven another creed we've got viking again this one another one that gets a lot of hate personally i enjoy it i was able to get this bottle for a really good price otherwise i wouldn't have got it at all right it's still very expensive uh, even more expensive than Aventus on a lot of discounters and stuff like that do i think it's worth that price do i think it's worth retail no but the fact of the matter is, I got it for a really good deal. Personally, I enjoy the scent, so I'm going to wear it. It does kind of have this Old Spice type of smell. Uh, you'll hear a lot of people say that, but it's this Old Spice smell, but it's modernized. Just great stuff, it's got great performance. It kind of has this fire and ice type of smell. You have this fresh peppermint, mint type of smell, but you also got this sweeter, spicier side too that mix together really nicely and it's just a very nice scent. Uh, it's not linear, it goes through a lot of changes throughout, great performance and everything, so definitely more on the mature side. I wouldn't wear this if I'm out trying to pick up women at like a Halloween party or anything. It's not really that type of scent, personally more for a formal dinner type of thing, but either way, it's still a great scent. Definitely recommend you getting a sample of it. You may actually really like it and just you know, give it a chance. So that's number seven, Viking. Number six, we have Tom Ford Tobacco Oud. I don't know if you can see the label, Tobacco Oud. So when I was talking about Pure Excess earlier, kind of having this fun, playful, I don't give a crap type of vibe, this is essentially what this fragrance does for me too. This fragrance isn't trying to appeal to everyone. This is a very specific smelling fragrance. Obviously the name being Tobacco Oud, there is heavy dose of tobacco and there's also a bit of oud as well but again the oud doesn't come across too strong or too stanky or anything i actually did a review on this you can check out if you want to know more about it but this is a fragrance that's not trying to please everyone it's targeting a specific crowd of men and women i really like it for that reason it's just something that i can just wear and it just makes me feel really confident knowing that yeah not everyone might like the smell but I enjoy the smell and I know the people who like it are really going to love it. So this is kind of the fragrance I'm gonna be reaching for in the fall when I just don't give a crap. I just wanna spray it on and just smell good. People are gonna love it, people are gonna hate it. Personally, I don't care. So that's my number six, a really, really nice one. Definitely worth checking out, Tom Ford Tobacco Oud. Number five, we have Creed Original Santal. Now, this is a very nice scent. It gets compared to Mont Blanc Individuel. Actually, that one came out first. I know the story before 100 people comment that. Uh, personally, not really a huge fan of Individual. I just, it just gives me a headache. I really like the scent DNA of it. In fact, Individual is what kind of put me on to original Santal, that DNA. I just couldn't really bring myself to wear Individual that often. It gave me a headache. It didn't perform good. Yeah, yeah, call me a niche snob. Call me whatever you want. I don't care. I think it's original Santal. This does everything right with that DNA. It doesn't give me a headache. It's very smooth. It's a little bit more creamy. And this stuff lasts a very long time too. I've gotten well over 12 hours with this. And again, before some smart asses comment saying, oh, how do you know your bottle's full? Well, I have a flacon of it that I've been testing quite a bit that I've been wearing. So I just wear out of the flacon instead of, you know, spraying my bottle. So that's kind of that. So again, original Santal, it's a great scent. Nice creamy sandalwood cinnamon scent. I enjoyed a lot, works great for me, and it just does everything that I wished Mont Blanc Individuel would do. Again, the price difference is quite a bit. Individuel is $20, this one, you can get these bottle sizes for around 120-ish if you know where to look. So I'm cool with paying more for this. You know, I love it, doesn't give me a headache. So that's, you know, that's about it. So number five, Original Santal. Number four, we have Dior Ohm Intense. So this is one of my full backup bottles 
uh, and this is the 2011 formulation. So there are multiple reformulations throughout. Uh, you can find that out by not only just looking at the batch code on the bottom, but also you need to look at the formula code, which is on the box. Basically mine works out to be a 2011 formula, which is the first reformulation. So there's the 2007 Dorom Intent, and there's the first reformulation, which is this. And typically you want to try to get within the first to second reformulation, just kind of depending. Uh, the first reformulation still has a lot of cocoa and it's creamier, it's smoother, it's sweeter. I prefer this. I also have like a 2017, one of the newest formulations, and it's still great stuff. I still love it. I still wear that one a lot, but I really just do love this first formulation. The cocoa in this comes across a lot more and it's just great stuff. Either way though, regardless of the different formulations and stuff, it's still worth picking up no matter really what the batch. It's just amazing stuff. One of my favorite designer fragrances ever. I will say though, when I was getting started with my fragrance, you know, hobby, I put this one off for a while. I'd hear everyone talk about this dreaded lipsticky note and that, oh, it's, you know, smells like a makeup bag, blah, blah, blah. And so I put this one off for a long time until I finally decided to give it a try. And once I got a sample of it and I tried it, it was one of those instant loves for me. It instantly just clicked with me. I knew I loved it. So if you're on the fence about this one, don't let all these people talking about lip, you know, lipstick, bag, makeup, stuff, who cares? Smell it for yourself and make your own judgment because it may end up actually blowing you away. So number four, one of my favorites, Dior Homme Intense. All right, number three, we've got MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. This is the EDP. This to me is pure luxury. If you smell it, you'll know what I mean. It's just, it's hard to explain, it really is, but it's just such a luxurious smell. This one is one that, again, you definitely wanna sample first and you wanna give it a few wearings. When I first got this one, it actually reminded me of latex gloves. You know, like when you're at the dentist and the dentist is shoving his hand in your mouth and you smell the latex gloves. That's what this actually reminded me of at first. I know that sounds off-putting, that sounds gross, but just for reference, this is like one of my top three favorites right now, so give it some time, wear it, you know, don't pass judgment right away because it's great stuff and it has grown on me so much compared to when I first smelled it. So Baccarat Rouge 540, pure luxury, and really I wear it any time around in the year, but in the fall and in the winter, especially in the fall, I think. If you're wearing this outdoors, the silage is gonna be amazing. So that's my number three. This is very, very good stuff. Number two, we have another MFK. This one is Grand Soir or Sar or Soir. I don't even know. I only have a 10 mil partial of this one. As you can see, I'm gonna need to grab myself a full bottle, but this stuff is beautiful. It's this nice amber and vanilla scent. When you smell it, this one again is one that just gives off pure luxury, pure class. This one is unisex, and personally, I think it would smell fantastic on a guy, and it also smell fantastic on a girl. No matter if you're a guy or a girl, and you're wearing this, you're just gonna smell classy, and you're gonna smell amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite from MFK so far. Just great stuff, I really enjoy it. So again, of course, it'll be perfect for the fall and winter. Performance is great, and it just has this really cozy, comforting type of smell to it. This one would be perfect for going on dates, you know, outdoors, indoors, whatever the case may be, something where you're gonna be cozy with your significant other, this one would be perfect. So that's my number two, Grand Soir. Number one, we have YSL Tuxedo. I just did a review on this one, you can check that out. And it's just, it's great stuff, guys. Like I said in the review, it's got a little bit of a designer-ish smell to it. And again, I'm okay with that, you know, it's, it's, really nice stuff it almost is like a gourmand to me i'm not really sure why it comes off that way but it almost just has this edible type of smell that i just like so tuxedo very nice stuff definitely check out my review if you want it's this nice creamy ambergris with a little bit of a smoky patchouli you got some spices as well and just great performance this one would be perfect in the nice fall air it's nice crisp fall air with some silage going from this thing. Smell great. So that's my number one for this year. Uh, gonna be wearing it a lot and it's just really nice stuff. Like I said, could be worn formal, could be worn casual. Don't let the name tuxedo fool you. It's not strictly a formal fragrance. You could wear it pretty much whenever you want, but obviously if you're dressed up, this one will do great. So that's my number one guys, tuxedo. So guys, that is it. That's my fall list for this year. I didn't really want to split it up into two separate videos, so kind of have a little bit for everybody here. So 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this list. Let me know down below what you're gonna be wearing. I'm really curious to know what you guys are gonna be wearing because I'm still not fully done buying fragrances for the upcoming colder weather. So if there's any that I should try that I don't have, uh, let me know down below. I'd really be curious to you know do some more sampling, see what you guys are liking, so that way I can you know discover these new fragrances as well. And that's gonna do it, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. And that's gonna do it for me, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.